Question 15. Here's a diagram. The diagram is not drawn accurately. M and N are two points on the circumference of the circle centre O. The straight line AMB is a tangent to the circle at M. Angle MON equals Y. Prove that the angle BMN equals half Y. So we have to prove that angle BMN equals half Y. So what do we know first of all? We know that angle BMN is 90 degrees. So angle BMN is 90 degrees because that's where tangent meets the radius. And that's always 90 degrees. We know that triangle triangle OMN is isosceles because OM is equal to ON as their radiuses of the circle. So that means these two angles are the same. O M N angle O M N is equal to angle O N M. So we can work out angle O M N. That's going to be 180. Take away the Y divided by 2, as these two angles are the same. So angle O M N. It's going to be 180 minus y, all divided by 2, or we could say half of 180 minus y. So this is angle OMN. Right, so there's 180 degrees in a triangle, uh, so we need to know that before we could do this bit, so we're going to write that down as well. So there's 180 degrees in a triangle right so the next bit we need to take away angle OMN which we've just worked out away from 90 to leave us with angle BMN which should leave us with half Y hopefully so 90 minus half lots of 180 minus y. We need to multiply out this bracket, so that's going to be 90 minus half times 180 is minus 90. Minus half times minus y is positive half y. And therefore, the 90 take away 90 cancel each other out and you're left with half y and that is angle BMN BMN so I think we've proved it and that's it for question 15 it says prove the angle BMN equals half y and we've done that so let's have a look at the mark scheme to see how we get our five marks for question 15. So the first mark is for realising that uh, the triangle OMN is a tri an isosceles triangle. Okay. Or that OMB is a tangent meeting the radius, so therefore 90 degrees. Either one of those would have got you the first mark. The second mark comes from either saying OMN, angle OMN is equal to ONM, or that you could show that you've worked out angle OMN by taking that, well, by doing 180, take away this, dividing by 2 to leave you with angle OMN, which we've done here. The third mark is for taking this away from 90. 
um, you get one mark for some statements such as the tangent meets the radius is always 90 degrees or uh, you could have said you know that a perpendicular angle is always created between the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees either statement's fine and the last mark comes from a correct conclusion for angle BMN accompanied by the correct calculations so the correct conclusion for BMN and we've done that so that's the final mark there so question 15 is worth five marks in total and that's it